Intermountain camera, we've got a few of those puffy clouds out there. It kind of looks like cotton candy uh, with temperatures that are feeling warmer than this time yesterday. We're in the low 70s in Salt Lake. Feels like 73, actually a bit more refreshing in Park City in the upper 40s, 60 in Nephi. It's nice to be in the 60s, uh, low 80s in St. George, upper 70s right now in Moab with clear skies all across the board. Those showers from yesterday, they're out of here. Now it's all about this high pressure. This is what we're watching and this is going to make its way over the Beehive State. It's going to park itself firmly over the Beehive State, bringing us our hottest temperatures Saturday and Sunday. As for today, it will get hot fast. We'll reach 101 in Salt Lake City, so we're back to that century mark. 90s in Provo in Ogden, 110 in St. George, and tonight we'll drop down to the mid-70s. So let's jump right to the weekend. I know that's on your mind. In St. George, we're breaking records tomorrow, 112 degrees. By Sunday, 110, you stay dry, hot, sunny, and for your Pioneer Day, 105 degrees. The good news is we're going to get some moisture moving in from the south early next week, and that's going to bring us a little bit of a shift. And in northern Utah, let's talk about this weekend uh, in our Super 7-Day forecast. So Saturday and Sunday, 105 and 106 degrees. That's when this heat peaks. Uh, let's talk about where our current records sit right now. Currently, for Saturday and Sunday, our record is at 104 degrees, so we're expecting to break records both Saturday and Sunday into Pioneer Day. You're waking up to 80 degrees, so if you're going to be out there for any parades early in the morning time, be prepared for things to feel warm from the get go and we'll hover in the triple digits a bit cooler Monday, but we'll stay right there all the way into Thursday. So 100 degrees, it's not going anywhere.